Hello, Quincy. Mayor Tom Koch here. Um, COVID-19 updates have been forthcoming uh, every day pretty much, but today, today I want to talk a little bit about last night, actually. There was a lot of lead up and a lot of discussion about the event plan for last night, and I want to express my gratitude to the organizers for the way they conducted themselves last night. I thought that uh, it was done in a very respectful way, very dignified way. And, uh, you know, I heard from a lot of folks um, directly, some email, I uh, heard some, through some folks about comments that were made, one side suggesting certain things, another side suggesting why the city giving them permits. I want to make it clear that this was an event planned by some citizens that there was no permit applied for, that uh, we did learn on social media about this, and, and we certainly were prepared uh, to assist to make sure this was an event that was safe for everybody, safe for participants, safe for our residents, and safe for our business community. Because as you witnessed around the nation and even over the border in Boston, these haven't gone very well in all areas. So again, to the organizers, we, we appreciate uh, your work on it. Uh, it was held right in front of the Church of the Presidents uh, on their property, along with the Hancock Adams Common. So uh, I thought it went well. To our police department, who were just tremendous last night in how they conducted themselves and how they managed to keep that safe environment for everybody. And, and again, we were flying a little bit blind in the sense of not really sure what the organizers were going to do because there was no agenda presented to us. So, you know, when the decision was made, the group was going to go down Hancock Street with several thousand participants, the police department jumped in and controlled traffic to make sure no one was getting hit by a car, that the families were safe who were participating in this. So every step of the way, the police moved and adjusted. They were very flexible to make this thing work as safely as possible. So. To our police department, thank you. To our fire department, who was on standby uh, at various locations around the city, if there were any outsiders that came in to wreak havoc, were prepared. I thank you. For our traffic department, uh, for the work they did on blocking off certain streets to make it safe for the participants, I thank you. For our public works department, who oversaw the cleanup and the preparation of some of the, the fencing and so forth, I'm, I'm grateful to them as well. And then, of course, the team that takes care of the Hancock Adams Common. Uh, for the work that they did uh, also, I'm, I'm really grateful. You know, I've heard from a number of folks, uh, directly and indirectly, uh, about the event leading up to it, but also since last night. And, uh, you know, everyone seemed to be generally pleased with the outcome, that the message was delivered in a very peaceful way, uh, people coming together across the country uh, with uh, an, an attitude of outrage, understandably so, for what occurred in, in Minnesota. I condemn what happened. Uh, in my belief, the authorities out there should have moved more swiftly. That was an, an act that is absolutely unacceptable uh, for any law enforcement agent to, to be part of. So uh, we got a lot of work to do in this country. There's a lot of great division. There's a lot, the, the divide is deep and seems to be going deeper. We as a nation, we as a people, I don't care what party you are, I don't care if you're a liberal or conservative, we got to get back to some common ground. We got to get back to some common values, one of which is mutual respect for other people's opinions. So I think we can do better America. I think we're on that road. Let's, let's get it together. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thanks, everyone, again for last night. Uh, and we'll be in touch. Stay well. God bless.